And I'm Jim Grimes over at the Kravis Center in downtown West Palm Beach, where it's a very important night for members of the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County. We'll tell you why this year's message is one of urgency. I'll have a live report coming up. CBS 12 News starts now. Tonight, the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County is holding a special event. It's called Celebrating Philanthropy, and it's at the Kravis Center in downtown West Palm Beach. Hundreds of celebrities, community leaders, and volunteers are arriving right now, and my co-anchor Jim Grimes is there. Jim, why is this year's event so important? Well, it's always wonderful being here at the Kravis Center. Beautiful evening uh, through, uh, tonight that is expected for the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County. This is a big night for them. That's because they're here to thank all of the people who are behind me. These are the men and women who have been donating their time and money to make sure that the programs that the Federation does throughout the year and now continue into the future. However, this year it's a little different, and that's because if you're not familiar with the Federation, they normally fund education programs in our school districts to make sure kids learn about the Holocaust or senior citizen events. However, this year they say their message is a little different. It's one of urgency. Ready, ready, ready. Even before the shocking October 7th terrorist attacks on Jews in Israel, Incidents of anti-Semitism in the U.S. and around the world had already been on the rise, but today videos showing mobs threatening Jews is an undeniable reality. Richard Friedman is with the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County. So security has really risen to be the most important factor, you know, most important part of the initiative that we're focusing on now. He's one of the chairmen heading up the group's newest initiative, the Center to Combat Anti-Semitism and Hatred. Post-October 7th, security has just... It, you know, exploded in terms of its relevance in the near term. You can imagine the anxiety in all the different locations that, you know, that are in Palm Beach County. Last year, according to the FBI, the number of anti-Jewish crimes increased to its highest number in decades. And another survey showed that three quarters of Jewish college students experienced or witnessed anti-Semitism on campus. We know that we have Floridians that are scared. Uh, we know that there have been um, situations throughout the United States uh, that are placing people on edge. They are feel fearful for their safety. This year, Florida lawmakers approved millions to bolster security at Jewish day schools, Holocaust museums, cultural centers, and synagogues. Private donors also stepping up like never before to protect their community. Josephine Gahn is the executive director of community affairs for the Federation. She says the events of the last couple of months have underlined the need to take action now. They're starting to understand that when you hear the chants and the hatred uh, in these marches, we take you what they really mean. They are genocidal and they're calling for the death of Jews. Sadly, this is being motivated out of fear. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is being motivated out of fear. New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft is going to be giving a speech here tonight. He's been a big advocate of the anti-Semitism movement in our country right now. He has a nonprofit called Stand Up to Hate. He'll be giving a speech here. There's a lot of other celebrities, we're told, will be here as well tonight. Bottom line is they need to raise money so that they can safeguard our Jewish communities. That is a big effort now, especially after the October 7th incidents that took place in Israel. But bottom line here, they need everybody to stand up to hate, and that's also the message here this evening. Otherwise, it should be fun for a lot of the people here. But again, bottom line, they need to raise some money to help safeguard those communities. Reporting live in downtown West Palm Beach, I'm Jim Grimes, CBS 12 News.